there's always some words that are extremely hard to define. Like, for example, stuff. If it wasn't for dictionaries, I probably can't define what stuff means. And among those words that is hard to define are colors. What's a color? And what's red or blue or green? Yeah, try explaining these things to an alien. We could say green is the color of nature or money, but that still doesn't explain what green is. And what colors really are is what I'll be explaining in this video. See, there really is no such thing as color. It's one of those words that humans make up for our own convenience, like time or money or literally 90% of the words we use. It's much easier to say, what color should I paint my fence, rather than the more scientific, what material should I paint my fence so that when light reflects off its surface, the desired frequency of light enters our eyes. There's no color, there's only different frequencies of light. See. Light is like a wave. Well, it's like a wave, but it's not necessarily a wave. Yeah, physics is complicated. The frequencies of the wave of light changes the color of the light. For example, red is from 400 to 484 terahertz, and blue is light from 606 to 668. It's so much easier to refer to colors as a name rather than a frequency but the scientific way of saying it is frequency. Colors are a spectrum. The spectrum starts with red and ends with purple. Red has the lowest frequencies and purple has the highest. So the lower the frequency you go, the more red the color is and the higher the frequency, the more purple the color is. Of course, there's colors in between, such as orange, which is higher frequency than red. And then, yellow, which is higher frequency than orange, and then green, higher frequency than yellow, and then blue and purple. Warm and cool colors is not just something that our eyes make up. It's something that actually has roots in science. As you can see, the lower frequencies are the warm colors and the higher frequencies are the cold colors. Coincidence? I think not. Next question, are black and white colors? Simple question, simple answer, no. Black is the absence of all color or light, while white is the presence of all frequencies of visible light. Darker colors have less light, while lighter colors have more. Well, I shouldn't be using the word color, but rather shade. What we, techn what we usually describe as color is a hue of something, which is its frequency. But darkness or lightness is not a color, rather shades. So no, black and white are not colors. Now we understand what colors are, we could explain why certain objects appear certain colors. Since white is every color combined, white objects reflect all of the light. So to us, it looks white. Black objects don't reflect any light, so it's black. And this is why also darkness is black. Red objects reflect mostly red light and blue objects reflect mostly blue light. So objects are not their colors because some magic, but because that's the frequency of light they reflect. It all makes sense now. All colors can come from mixing red, green, and blue. That's why we use things such as RGB to determine color. Every color can be defined by how much of each light it reflects. There's also other color codes such as H SB or HSV, which I as a content creator personally prefer. H is who, which is a frequency as I previously talked about, S for saturation, which shows how bright it is, and V or B is for brightness or value, well, which is how dark or light it is. Colors are relative. If you see a white ball in red light, it appears red because despite the white ball allowing all light to be reflected, only red light is present, so it's red. If you see a blue ball in red light, however, it's this very ugly color. Since blue only reflects blue light, but red light is not blue light, it doesn't reflect much, showing this weird color, even though the ball itself is blue. Just note that adding light is the opposite of adding paint. The more paint, the darker the color is, because the less light would reflect off of more paint. And more light, obviously, the lighter the color is. But what if? 
there was a color below or above the highest or lowest frequencies we talked about. You can always go higher or lower, right? So what if we went higher or lower than the visible spectrum? Introducing Infrared and Ultraviolet, the newest superhero anime. Uh, you can't see anything? Well, both infrared and ultraviolet are invisible to the human eye, which is incredibly fortunate since it saves me from actually drawing animated versions of light. But they still have lots of incredible powers. Infrared can be used to detect people even when there's no light outside. Hey, what the heck do you think you're doing? You stole my can of beans! Get him, Infrared! Since heat produces infrared waves, the reason of which I'll be probably be talking about in the next video, you can use infrared goggles to see where there's heat. And where there's heat, there's people. After catching the thief, with help from infrared goggles, we'll teach him a lesson. Ultraviolet. Ultraviolet is very powerful and causes skin cancer. Okay, maybe don't give him skin cancer, that's too harsh. But that also explains why you have to put on sunscreen when you come outside. Infrared can also be used in remote controls and UV light for invisible ink. But there's more colors than that. If you go lower, you have other frequencies such as microwaves and radio waves. And if you go higher than ultraviolet, you could have X-rays and gamma rays. X-rays really doesn't need an introduction and gamma rays is literally Thanos. But although high powered waves are very powerful, lower frequency waves are definitely more useful. Below the infrared is microwaves, used by all the too lazy to cook people in the world. And below that are radio waves, which is not only used for the very boomer radio, but all the things like internet or cellular networks, TV and all that good stuff. So even though gamma rays are deadly, nothing else can satisfy our needs more than some low powered waves, especially during times like this. And radio waves and microwaves are literally less powerful than visible light so they are not likely to do much harm to us. Despite not being able to see all those waves and not being colors, they're still very important. And we wouldn't want to see them either. If we were able to see radio waves, our entire world will be filled with light due to the amount of radio waves going through the air right at every instant. Maybe our alien friends could see these waves, and maybe they could try to explain to us what they look like. Well anyways, that is the end of my video. If you liked it, please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. I make quality monthly content like this, and also please comment, it helps me. So it's time to go. See you next month, and peace out.